So I'm working on a 2004 Toyota Sienna minivan, doing the timing belt on it. In order to do the timing belt, you have to remove the harmonic balancer to gain access to the bottom portion of the timing belt. And with most of these harmonic balancers, or the drive pulley that drives the serpentine belt, um, it's necessary to, you know, use an impact gun to get it out, but then they just slide off. Sometimes they get a little stuck and then you can get take a pry bar and pry on one side with constant pressure, take another pry bar, and then just kind of wiggle, just kind of, you know, pulse on it. Um, but with this one, it's really stuck. It's been on there for 120,000 miles in about eight years, and it's just not coming off. So what you do is you get a bolt puller kit, and you'll have some type of a, a what does that look like, a space shuttle? Looks like a space shuttle to me. Uh, type flange and then you'll have a bolt that goes through it and then a couple of different devices to apply pressure with. Um, one will be a cone and the other one will be flat. Um, I typically like to use the flat just to prevent any risk of damaging the threads. Um, but see all these different bolts and you'll have a set of three and then you'll have a set of two and so on and so forth. But with these, you can take them and uh, screw them into the harmonic balancer. And you'll either have three holes or you'll have two like this. Um, Dodge has their own special one with no bolt holes. It's actually got a Briggs and Stratton stamp on it. But it's got uh, three little arms that go in, you know, at different uh, uh, areas. And it's not like your typical three-jaw three puller where it's like a hook. It's just very, very square. So anyway... Once you've fastened it in and uh, you start to uh, tighten the drive bolt in there, they'll come far so far. Or they'll come out so far and then wiggle off the rest of the way. Looks like I'm not quite there, but almost. The thing about it is it just pulls it off real uniform each side to where you don't uh, get crooked and bind. And that's how you use the puller to take off a harmonic balancer. You want to see what it looks like when I've got the uh, puller pulled off. I'll show you. Usually you like to put in at least three threads, if not five. Or more. The more you have, the better. Especially on one that's being stubborn and isn't coming easily. This one came pretty easily. You see I used the flat part. When you look at it, you just have the two bolt holes. You can see they were going to do them a little further apart, and then they opted to go in. You can see the casting marks where there's even an option for four. It's not super hard, but if you don't know this, then it can be really frustrating. These bolt pullers, they're not very expensive. You can get them pretty inexpensively and then outfit them with whatever bolts you want. They come with a certain number of bolts. You can see where I've added a few that are M6 by one. And that's uh, how you use a bolt puller to pull your harmonic balancer.